Hello traders, this is Kim from NinjaAddons.com. In this video tutorial, I'm going to explain you how you can create a market scanner with a harmonic indicator and NT8 market analyzer. Let's get started. The harmonic indicator comes with one market scanner that is given to you as a bonus and is automatically installed in your computer along with the harmonic indicator. It also comes with a market analyzer template to help you create your own scanner. In order to create a new market scanner, simply navigate to the control center, then click on New Market Analyzer. This will open an empty window. Note that the market analyzer works with real-time data, so you need to be connected to your market data provider to be able to see something in the scanner window. Now, once you are connected to your data feed and the market analyzer window is open, First, you're going to add a new column that will display information with regards to the harmonic indicator. To do so, right-click somewhere in the Market Analyzer window, then select Columns. This will open a new window from where we are going to select a new harmonic scanner. Alright, so from this window, open the folder named Ninja Add-ons. And as you can see here, there's one scanner and it's named harmonic scanner type 1.00. So basically the scanner is pretty simple and detects the harmonic patterns on the chosen time frame. And it also indicates the state of the pattern, which can be partial, valid, or invalid. But first you have to configure it properly, right? So let's get into configuration of the scanner. First, you will need to double click on harmonic scanner type one to add it in the configured panel at the bottom. Then select the scanner, and as you can see on the right-hand side, you, you can change all the settings that comes with the harmonic indicator. At the very top, you can configure the swing settings according to your own values. You can change the background color of the cell and its foreground color for each different situation. That way you can quickly detect a certain pattern configuration directly by looking at the cell's color. So, Say, for example, you set the valid pattern background color to lime. Then each time you'll see a lime cell in the scanner, you'll know that a valid pattern has been detected. All right, so below you can change all the different ratios and parameters if you need to, and then select the time frame that you want to scan. So let's choose a 30 minute time frame, for example. Also note that you need to load a minimum of 250 bars to get an accurate result. Below that value, the indicator will not be properly initialized and the scan will not be synchronized with the corresponding chart. And finally, you can let the other settings to their default values. Once this is done, you can click on OK. And as you can see, there's a new column in the scanner window that corresponds to the harmonic scanner type 1. Now, in order to see something, Remember that you need to be connected to a data feed and also you need to load at least one instrument that you want to scan. So let's say, for example, you want to scan the current contract of the euro dollar, which is a 6E. Here you go. So the cell is now updated and will display a message if a harmonic pattern is detected on the 30 minute time frame of the euro dollar. Right, as you can see, it can be a bit long to configure an entire market scanner, but once done, it's really a great help because it gives you a wider view of the timeframes of the instrument you want to trade. All right, so in order to simplify the process, we provide with the harmonic indicator a market scanner template. So if you're, you're going to go and right click on the window, then select templates and then load, you will find one template based on Harmonic Scanner Type 1. Just select it and click on Load. Right, as you can see, you are now scanning several futures and forex instruments on many different time frames. The information displayed in each cell is the name of the pattern, if any, and the number indicates the number of bars in the past starting from now that the configuration was detected. So the letter P means the pattern is impartial, the letter V is for valid, and lastly, I for invalid state. In this scanner, the cyan background indicates that at least two patterns are in a different state. For example, one is valid and one is invalid. 
Well, that's it for this scanner. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any suggestion, question, or feedback, please send us an email at contact at ninja-addons.com. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to get notified when a, when a new video is published. Thanks for watching. Bye!